Hi guys, welcome back to Zona Zuma, Zona Nyasi Zumarovsky. Today we are with Nepura Lee. I'm a Korean teacher in Suncheon University. Okay, so she's actually my teacher. Um, I'm currently learning Korean in Suncheon National University. And today we are going to be talking about how to effectively learn Korean for beginners. And Sung Sen Mibora will help you to <laughs> forward the question okay, that I have right now. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay. so I have already like some question here. Perhaps you can answer for like, I don't know, uh, to help people to, to be better in learning Korean. The first one, can you please briefly explain about yourself? Okay, as you know, I'm a Korean teacher in Suncheon University. I've been testing Korean for four years. Mm -hmm. Four years. I love it. I okay. love my job. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and it's all like all four years in Suncheon National University or you moved? Ah, okay. Oh, at first, at first I, I have worked in China. Mm. In China. So, and uh, for a year. Mm -hmm. And I have been teaching uh, Korean in Suncheon University for three years. Oh, okay. okay. So this is your third year in Suncheon National University. Ah, yeah, yeah. Nice. And then the uh, second... Third year? No, fourth year. Fourth, the fourth three years, year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've been teaching too. So fourth year. Alright. Yeah. Next one? Ne. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are your common impressions about foreigners who learn Korean at this school? I don't have any special impressions yeah. for foreigner students. So but just I felt mm, I am surprised. I'm surprised there are so many foreigners mm, who want to learn Korean and study Korean. So yeah, it's surprising to me. Okay. Just, that's it. Okay. okay so the, the amount yeah. of the people that wanted to learn Korean is yeah. the one that yeah. uh, shocked you for the Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yes. Oh, That's okay. it. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you should come again to make her become more shocked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so which part of the language is the most challenging according to your experience in teaching foreigners here? Okay, it depends on mother language. Okay. The foreigners mother language. Yeah. Okay, so some students, for some students, for, for some foreigners, it is easy to learn Korean, uh, like um, because their language is similar to yeah. Korean, Korean, uh, such as a structure of a sentence mm -hmm. or grammar. Yeah. But for some some students, for some foreigners, it is difficult to learn Korean. So I think it depends on mother language. So yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, I don't know. So. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, because yeah. like for some people, they might um, be able to speak yeah, fluently, yeah. but yeah. when writing, yes, they yes, have a yes, problem. Yes. So, yeah, it depends, depends on mother language and it depends on students. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And for the beginners, what are most important things to do in learning Korean? Okay, mm, I think uh, it is hard uh, not to compare to mother language, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, just to focus on Korean. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know it's hard, but I recommend uh, to focus on Korean as Korean, just mm -hmm. Korean. So think Korean, okay, as a Korean. Think the way Korean. Yeah, think. yes, but it is hard. Mm. Okay, I think it is hard. But yeah. uh, it's the best way, baby, and enjoy. Okay. Uh, I recommend to enjoy learning. That's it. <laughs> translate directly to like in my mind I have like Indonesian and mm. Polish so yeah. I sometimes like translate it directly uh. so we just not recommend it uh. so if you're learning Korean according to Sang Senim that you focus on Korean yeah. ah and I think culture and language yeah. uh, okay can be separable. separated yeah, yeah. separate can be separated so um, I recommend uh, okay oh, you had better you had better okay, be interested in Korean culture, mm -hmm. so it will be helpful. Okay, okay. So that motivates you. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> yeah I so think. in average, how long does it take to master the language? Uh, like let's say language. topic five or topic. Ah, uh, topic five. Okay. Uh, I think um, most of foreigner students uh, can get a topic three, 
level three mm -hmm. in a year, mm -hmm. uh, in average, mm -hmm. uh, I think. Uh, but the foreigner students uh, have to study very hard mm -hmm. uh, to get a uh, topic three, topic three in a year. Okay. Okay. So I think it depends also how motivated the student is, right? Yes. Yeah. And yes. How how they you know like committed to yeah, the language. Yeah. 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 But some Chinese students, uh, it, uh, for Chinese students, it is easy to yeah, get easier, uh, yeah. to be free uh, because their words, mm. their words and Korean words are uh, very similar. Are very okay, similar the similarity. Yes, yes. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. So for you Chinese students, <laughs> like, come to learn Korean, that's easy for you. Yeah. Not like me, I'm so hard in learning. <laughs> okay. okay, and... Um, for some beginners, especially me, I sometimes feel lost while oh. learning new grammars and information oh. in class, right? Yeah. What should we do in order to keep being motivated in learning? I keep motivating, okay. Um, I yeah. think, uh, as I told you, as I told you, to enjoy learning yeah. is the best way. So, okay. uh, <laughs> if you lost the way, okay, you have to keep him uh, focus on the Korean yeah. and you have to be interested in yeah. Korean, keep going, yeah. okay? So, uh, like watching movies, Korean movies yeah, yeah. or dramas yeah. and uh, listening to K-pop, mm. okay? Whatever, okay. okay. And it's okay to make mistakes, right? Uh, because from mistakes we learn. Right? Yeah, it's yeah, okay yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah, okay, so the last one. Is there any general remarks for those who is currently learning Korean or about to start in learning Korean? Okay, uh, first of all, okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> for thank learning. you for learning Korean. Okay, because I'm Korean, so yes. thank you. Uh, and, okay, mm, I recommend to be interested in Korean culture yeah. and what to. Yeah, watching movies, drama, okay. and, and talking to Korean. Korean. Talking to Korean. Yeah. Yeah. Try talking to Korean. Yeah. Okay. Korean 친구를 만나요. 네, 네, 네. 얘기해요. 네, 네. Meeting with Korean. Yeah. Okay. okay. And, and okay, if you can to be boyfriend or <laughs> yeah, it's a search boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I think. I think we can maybe yeah. Uh, yeah. love is best. <laughs> yeah. For me, yeah. I have Hyung here. Oh. Yeah, in yeah. Guangzhou. Oh. Like I call him Hyung, yeah, and I yeah. met him in Thailand yeah. before. Yeah. But in Chuseok, like I went to his yeah. house yeah. and I tried to speak. Oh. So it it helpful. So yeah. not always like um, finding some boyfriends or girlfriends. Yeah. Maybe you can find Tung Seng or Hyung. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Like, yeah. Yeah. Find Korean. Yes. <laughs> and talk. <Yeah. laughs> Okay. All right then, Zansanim, thank you so much for being able to be in my channel. I hope this is going to be helpful for people that wanted to learn. Um, and yeah, if you happen to visit Korea, uh, just don't forget to comment and we can share the culture together. Or even you can meet Zansanim Ibora to know more about the culture. Okay. Yeah. All right then, thank you so much and see you. Bye-bye. Yeah, thank you. Yeah.